Yo, what's going on guys? It's Shadow870, and I'm bringing you some gameplay and commentary on T-Town. We've been playing some Search and Destroy. And this is the introduction video to my new series called Analyzing, or something like that. Um, and it's a gameplay where I take your, your games, or my games, and I analyze them, tell you guys what you did wrong, and what you could have done right. And the first thing I did right here is I, uh, I led with a stun check, and I didn't find anybody, so I came up the stairs, and I owned him in a close range battle, uh, because I had a submachine gun with my mp7 <laughs> and then I sit here and I play a little bit I, I play it um, a little bit stealthily a little bit smart and I get that guy because at the end another close range battle and he uh, he was moving forward and then I get freaked out coming up the stairs because my teammates are all just rushing down the stairs at one time and I come around here I already got my scavenger and I love scavenger uh, and I own that guy and I notice a lot of these battles are submachine gun close range battles that's what you that's the secret to using some machine guns is you have to keep a close range if you want the maximum um, effort out of your gameplay if you want the maximum everything I know that guy's there he doesn't know I'm there obvious win duh I get extreme conditioning because um, this is my Russian class I need to be able to run around I already have dead silence so um, dead silence is like my perk it's like my shit I love dead silence. I see that guy coming up the stairs, so I'm like, all right, I got this guy. What I do is I get prone right here, and I wait for him, and he comes right through the door, and I basically slap him in the face and say no. Um, I come down the stairs. I think, all right, so I'm like, okay, I've moved around plenty. My whole team's dead. I need to plant the bomb, or else they're going to kill me if I don't plant the bomb, and we lose. So I go over here, um, and I head to B because uh, A is all. I don't want to head to A. A is like a hot spot, and it's not a really great situation to be in. Um, I think that B is the best one to plant at on the uh, C town. So I think that square is circle and circle square. So I press the circle button to plant and I stab the uh, the bomb thing. So I pl I plant that. I get uh, my stalker perk and um, I'm basically just waiting on him if he comes from that side. But but uh, with my turtle beaches, I hear him coming from the right. So I'm like, I know he's coming from the right. Just walk around the corner. And then all of a sudden I hear him climb up the little patio that I, in the same little patio that I climbed up. So I'm like, alright, I got you. And then I jump up, BAM! Dead. He didn't even know I was there and I totally killed him. So I start off 7-0. I start off really well. My team, like everybody on the enemy team is like, what the fuck? <laughs> no, I start off 6-0. And everybody on the enemy team is like freaking out. And I changed my class because I didn't think that uh, my Russian class would do well in Search and Destroy. And I'm like, what's going on? And I change back to the MP7. And I, I'm ready to go again. I'm all pumped up. I got this going. And I head up the stairs. And this is, I always go through this part because this is the biggest hot spot. This is where you can find the most enemies. Uh, lead with stun. Actually, no, I saw a guy over there and I sent text, but I couldn't get him. I wasn't going to shoot at that guy and try a long range battle. That's a smart move using some, with me using some machine gun. He was probably ready. Uh, probably with an assault rifle. This is the luckiest. This is a lucky kill right here. I lagged, and I, uh, I I peered right in front of him. So when I saw him, I was like, "All right, shoot him, Shadow, shoot him." And um, see, it starts getting a little laggy, but not too laggy. I go check A. No one's playing. And no one's at A. Um, I come through, and basically I'm going to head to B, making sure no one's camping on any of the bombs that we're trying to plant on. Uh, no one's camping on B. So B is safe, B is good. I head over here, and right about now my teammate plants the bomb. So I'm like, okay, cool. Uh, we're in a good situation. I see him heading through the building, so I immediately know that he's over here. And I head through, and my teammate kills him. So I'm like, okay, cool. But one of the other guys dies, so um, it's a situation like that where uh, it's only two of us, and knowing my luck, my teammate will die. So I head up here, and of course he dies. I see he's using a P90, so I don't have the best advantage with close range anymore. But he's planting the bomb, and I teabag and shoot him in the head. Uh, thankfully, I have my turtle beaches with me, or else I wouldn't have been able to hear him as easily. Um, especially when it was late at night, so I wouldn't be able to hear him. I would have to actually have to go check the bomb. Same thing would have happened, but I might not have been able to pull off the teabag, man. That's like my thing. I need to teabag when you don't know I'm there. Alright, so third round, I'm ready, I'm all pumped up, I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna get even more kills, we're just gonna completely run over these guys, I'm gonna post a, you know, a, like a freaking awesome search and destroy gameplay, and it's just gonna be simple and easy, and it's just, I'm gonna slap them in the face and say, bitch, 
But um, I shoot sh shoot at that guy just in case he comes back for me. I throw a grenade, and I know this guy's in this building, so why not take him out? A lot of those guys just they just don't learn. <laughs> Alright, I head down here, and this is where I get uh, my first death, not here. I kill that guy who's up there, probably shouldn't have taken that battle, but I get lucky the guy was inaccurate. And then I own this guy in a one-on-one, -on -one, and right about here, I go for the drop shot on this guy, because he knew I was there. He is one of those situations where he knew I was there, I didn't know he was there, and it was a bad situation for me. Um, probably should have retreated, but I didn't know that guy was there. Uh, this is Gaming Guru, uh, he's dead, and he rage quits. And this is Noodle Man. He's one of my friends. He's using PP90 Suppress. And he's gonna, in, uh, up in a minute, he's gonna make a really, really, really bad mistake with uh, the game. And he's, it's gonna cost us the win. Um, he has the bomb, as you guys can tell. He's waiting at the time. Uh, he's not really doing a whole lot, but he's, uh, he sees that guy. He shoots at him. Again, some machine gun long range. Not the best thing. This is the mistake. He shoots at the guy. The guy knows he's there. He doesn't know where the guy is anymore. And he has to plant the bomb, and there's two enemies left. You guys do the math. He begins to plant the bomb. He gets the bomb planted. Yes. And, uh, dead. Yes, the noodle man dies because the enemy knew he was there. And the reinforcements come in. The guy, Yo Daddy, think, um, comes in, and he's spinning around. And he's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I totally got him. Even though the other guy made a mistake. So, they win that battle because Noodle Man made a mistake, but I'm not going to completely put him down. He's a pretty good player, and he's a pretty cool dude. Um, alright, so, round round four. Let's do this. Um, I'm ready. I'm ready to re redeem myself. I knife that window like I always do when I'm pumped. I always stab windows. It's like your thing. If you're pumped, you stab a window. And I head up the stairs, and then immediately I see this guy shooting through the, the wall, so I know. I think he's over on the right, but uh, I, I get, like, mind fucked there. I throw my grenade and hit marker, of course. I try to kill that guy, and no dice. So, I failed twice in this game, in this round. Um, and I know he's there. I'm 100% sure he is sitting there waiting for me to come around the corner. And I have a submachine gun. I'm not going to be able to win that battle. He, he's already looking in the direction, so I throw a stun j to, just to make sure he's still there. I'm like, okay, I can't flake around that side because, um, just in case there's a camper there. So I come around, and I flank around under and come back up. So I'm gonna I'm gonna flake under. I check my corners, check my check my back, and I see this guy. I try to stab and I own him because we both failed at the same time. I jump and then all right. So here's flanking time. I go under the bridge, and um, I head up these stairs right here. I'm completely flanking him. I'm not like flanking him just on the side. I'm going all the way around just in case there's any enemies. And I think there was an enemy back there. I I, I can't remember. And I come back up here and he's gone. Fuck. So he's gone, and I'm in a situation like, I just flanked for nothing? Damn it! <laughs> Son of a bitch! So I flanked for absolutely no reason at all. I keep checking A because I'm so worried that they're planting an A. And I keep checking that way because I know he's not there anymore. And uh, I just, I, I'm, I'm paranoid right now. I'm like, oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god, they're gonna plant! Damn it! <laughs> and, uh, but nope, nope, we win. We killed the last guy who's alive, which is your daddy. My team mate is awesome. Suspect X five six seven. Well, shout out to you for winning that round. That was pretty beast. Definitely, uh, definitely helped me out there because I was freaking out. Um, and all right, so it's three and one. We need one more win to get this wrapped up. And uh, I don't know what I was doing there. Uh, knife window. I'm pumped. You guys can tell whenever I knife window, it's it's go time. I'm done. It's I'm ready. So I come around here, and I try to fucking do too much, and I die immediately. So, let me just change this guy, because you don't want to watch... Oh, shit. What the fuck did I just do? Okay. Pardon for the interruption. I think I just took a picture of him. Let's just watch this guy. Uh, I think he was sending me a video, because uh, he said that he went like 67 and 11 in his game. So, I think it's R1. Yeah, okay. Uh, let's check this guy out, yo daddy, yo, yo daddy, yo, yo, yo daddy, auto gunner's the last one, and he's dead, um, and then here's, no, he's not the last one, Here, here's this guy, um, and he is using the, his gun, and suspect, this is where your shoutouts must not live, and, uh, yo daddy kills him, 
of course, so now it's three to two, and you know, they if they get one more, it's tied, and uh, I, I, we're just we're falling apart. I could feel us falling apart. I was, I could definitely feel it. I was not doing as well. Um, and this guy's got YOLO. If any of you see my dual commentary for you uh, with uh, C Monster, and we talked about YOLO, you would know why I hate that. <laughs> And, um, let's see, I get out my FMG9s, get those ready, and I come around here, and I'm not going to sh I, I check, I peek my head out to see if that guy takes the bait, he doesn't, alright, okay, I'm still not 100% sure, I come up, that's probably not the best idea, but no one was there, I throw a grenade just in case Mr. Camper's over there again, but he's not, and then I, fuck, yes, I get killed by a guy coming up the stairs, and that and Bar Bardiar gets killed, and here's a uh, suspect. No, this is not suspect. The, here's someone I can't I can't see their name. Hidden among you, dead. And my team is falling apart at the at the pieces. We're just dying. And look at this guy. He runs right by him. Are you stupid? He is right there. Oh my gosh. I probably should have asked Auto Gunner to uh, send me that video of his game. <laughs> In retrospect, he probably could have helped us out a lot. But Hike and I get the kill after completely fucking missing Auto Gunner. <laughs> That's so bad. You always have to check their spawn when when that something like that happens. So it's overtime. It's clutch time. Let's do this. Uh, they have more kills, so they're defending. And um, all right, so I'm ready. I'm extremely pumped for this game. This right here is the round that will decide everything. So I come up and stun check. No one. I don't get anyone. Um, I'm not 100% sure, so I keep aiming. I'm trying to find someone over there. I can't find anybody. I'm awfully persistent with this. Uh, stun check, and I don't get anybody, and I die from that grenade. God damn it. Well, uh, that's it for my game. Uh, please, um, while you're watching these guys go around and completely try to win, uh, please comment on what I did wrong. Uh, I know I did a, a couple things wrong near the end of the game. Don't lie to me. <laughs> please, uh, this was the first episode of my Modern Warfare 3 analysis video. And I think that we lost. No, no. Okay. And um, that's about it for today. It doesn't let me finish the whole game. So um, I guess that uh, I can't remember if we won or not. But uh, that's it for today, guys. Don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe. And I will catch you all later.